Okay, question 17, the grand finale, we have differentiation by first principles of a trigonometric function. Awesome. So, f of x is sine of x. Using differentiation by first principles, we want to find the exact value of f dash pi over 6. So, first off, we need the differentiation by first principles formula. So f dash is the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over H. Okay, so using that, we know that f dashed of pi over 6 is going to be equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of sine of pi by 6 as h minus sine of pi by 6 all over h. Okay, so using the angle formula which is given to us in the formula sheet, we get the limit as h tends to zero off. So we get sine of pi by six cos h add sine h cos of pi by six And then we got the minus sine of pi by 6 at the end. And that is all over h. Okay, so we can start making this look a bit nicer now. Sine of pi by 6 is a half. Cos of pi by 6 is root 3 over 2. So, this is Right, so sine of pi by 6 is a half So we have 1 half Cos H Add Now we got sine H Cos of pi by 6 So that's root 3 over 2 Uh, sine h minus sine of pi by 6, so minus a half all over h ok, so at this point everything on top has a common factor of one half so what we can now do is write this as the limit as h tends to 0 of cos h uh, add root 3 sine h minus 1 all over 2h. Right, at this point, we are now at a bit of a crossroads. There are a few different um, methods that we could use. I think the easiest 
without me thinking of the small angle formulas for trigonometry. So the colours that we saw earlier in the paper, they are in your formula sheet, and if I'm clever enough, they are on screen right now. So, H is definitely small because it's tending to zero. So we're going to use cos of H is approximately 1 minus H squared over 2 and sine of H is roughly equal to H. So, if we substitute those in, we've then got the limit as H tends to zero of our cos of H is 1 minus H squared over 2. And then we've got uh, a root 3 sine of h, h, we're going to say is h, by the small angle formulas. So, let's add root 3 h, and then we've got that minus 1 at the end. And don't forget that is all over 2h. Okay, so I've run out of room, classic. Okay, so this is now equal to the limit as h tends to zero of, well, up on top we got 1 minus 1. So they're going to cancel out. That's good. So we got minus h squared over 2 plus root 3h all over 2h. Now the factor of h disappears so Minus h squared over 2 divided by h is going to leave us with minus h over 2. And then root 3h divided by h is going to leave us with root 3. So now all we're left with is a 2 on the bottom. So, as h tends to 0, minus h over 2 tends to 0, so uh, f dash then of pi over 6 is going to leave us with root 3 over 2. As we would have expected if we had used normal differentiation, sine of x differentiates to cos of x, cos of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. Okay guys, that's it for this paper. Really hope you found it useful. Uh, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, good luck with your exams, take it easy. Take care.